Good morning. I've got an unboxing for you today. I have got a Sigmund laser rangefinder. Let's see what we've got in the box. So it comes in a hard case. So there it is. A nice small unit, CT800Y. It's got flag lock, it's got slope, but it's also got sweep. So on those occasions where you've got bushes and trees beyond the green and you're forever picking up what's beyond the green rather than the flag, when you press the fire button and hold it down and do a sweep, it'll tell you what the nearest thing to you is. And that nearest thing is going to be the flag. Now I'm here at West Monmouthshire and there's one or two occasions where that is going to prove very useful. So we're going to go out Play 18 holes and give this a go. It's rechargeable, it's got slope, it comes with the charging lead and it comes with a magnetic strap. So you stick that on the side of your golf cart, pop this in it and close the Velcro strap and then you can just tear it out whenever you need it. That's not something that I can use here because my golf trolley is aluminium but I've got this for a long-term test. So this is coming on my golf holiday with me. It's gonna get stuck on the side of the golf cart every time I play. And I'm gonna give it 12, 13, 14 rounds, however long the, the golf holiday is. Focus is on the back. And what I've found out so far is the magnification is really good and the screen display is really good but the proof is how good is it once you get out beyond 150 yards and that's what I'm going to do today well I am quite surprised already I'm here on the balcony outside the clubhouse at West Monmouthshire overlooking the 18th green I've just switched on my golf watch to find out the distance to the first green out there and it was saying 252 to the middle. Now I can see that the flag is on the front. And with this in sweep mode, it picked up the flag at 244, like that. No two, three goes at it to pick up that flag out there. I'm looking forward to using this. See you on the first tee. Well, this is the first real test for any, any rangefinder. It's roughly 150 yards, slightly uphill. It's a sunken green, so I can only just see the top of the flag. And there's trees beyond it. Picking out the flag against that background when you can only see half of it is pretty tricky. Let's give it a go. hundred and forty nine point four yards yeah they're doing decimal points now now I'm gonna try a sweep just to make sure that I've actually got the flag and not what's behind the flag and it's come up with the same figure. As you sweep, it's picking up the trees, giving you a long yardage. As soon as it hits the flag, you get a vibration and you get the correct yardage. I'm pretty impressed with this already. Right, the next test. I got a long shot into this green and this is where I struggle to hold these things steady. So let's see how we go with a straight shot and then with a sweep, see what we get. It's 
sadly I got two readings 10 yards apart there I had a couple of goes at it I'm just wondering if the shoulder of the hill is interfering especially as I'm only five foot six one of the hardest things you can ask a rangefinder to do is a par three like this it's over 200 yards and you've got the hill behind the number of times I've shot a flag here I come up with 350 yards from the hill because the lasers completely bypassed the flag primarily because I can't hold it tight enough so let's have a go now I know what number I'm expecting because I've just shot it with my own rangefinder let's see if this matches up exactly the same 208 yards today so it's going to be a five wood with this wind about I do like the zoom on this the, the magnification is really good which makes it much easier to pick up a flag that's that far away and I do like this sweep when you've got trees behind the flag because it's it will pick up the thing that is nearest to you which is going to be the flag for $89, I'm really impressed. Cheerio. Just before I go, before I go, I know, another final little bit. This is the 16th. It's 244 yard, par three, steeply downhill. And this camera tends to flatten it. It doesn't show it as steep as it is. Now I know the flag's at the back today, so it's going to be beyond 244. So I'm going to switch the slope function on, see if I can get some idea of what it is down flat on the green. With the flag towards the back, it's showing 253 yards, but the slope is saying it's 204. That's quite a difference. Wish me luck. That's how you get a par on 16.